You want to start by removing this gray ring that runs around the outside of your Mighty Mouse. And unfortunately it's glued on, so the only way to remove it is to either break it or to score the gap between it and the mouse body with an X-Acto knife until it breaks loose. And what you do, what you do is you start at one of these side grips and go from there. And this will be the first part that breaks loose. It's not going to go this quickly. Mine's already been taken apart once, so it goes a lot quicker. And over here, and you'll need to work your way around the bottom and around the top, and you need to be very careful by the cord because you don't want to cut the cord. And as you can see, this piece is a lot thinner up at the top, and you don't want to break it there. That's the place it's most likely to break. Anyway, once you've got it off, you can set that aside, and you have the rest of the mouse to work on. Now, you can see the two clips here. These are what hold the hinge in the mouse from going too far. And it's pretty easy. You just need to take a screwdriver and reach in and pry them up, and it will swing further on its hinge. You also need to take off the, the other piece. Um, what you need to do for that is just stick a screwdriver in here and pry as well, and it'll pop out of the hinge. And don't just grab and rip it apart because there's two ribbon cables in there. As you can see, there's a brown one over here and there's a green one over here. And try removing the brown one first because that will give you more leeway to tilt this over and move the green one. Once you've got this part separated, you can just set it aside because you're not going to be doing anything with that. Now, you'll see the three screws that hold in the scroll ball assembly here, here, and here. You just want to take those out. Alright, so now you can take the scroll ball assembly out, and I'd put the three screws inside the main mouse body because it makes a nice little bowl for holding them. Set that aside for now. Okay, now that you have the star of our show, the little scroll ball assembly, you'll notice that there are four rollers at the four corners, and they face in kind of a counterclockwise direction. This one has the top of the roller up here, this one has the top up here, and over here, and over here. Now, we need to get in there to clear the, clean the scroll ball and the rest of the assembly. So what you want to do is you t want to take a small flathead screwdriver like this, and you want to pry right here. And this white piece, this white retaining piece, will be able to be removed. And you'll see it's taking one of those little ro those little rollers with. Now, you want to take the ball out first. That'll get things out of your way. You probably want to take all of the rollers out as well. So, just take a screwdriver, it's metal, and pop them out. And you'll see that they are magnetic, which is nice. The screwdriver is not magnetic, the rollers are. And now you can get in here and clean this. And you can also clean this this white retaining piece as well. I've already cleaned mine, um, so I'm just going to show you how to reassemble it. But usually there'd be a bunch of junk on these little these little wheels, okay? And especially on the shafts here, when you pry the when you pry the piece apart, they might be stuck in here because there's so much junk. But that's all clean now. So the first thing you want to do is get these rollers back into where they go. Remember how I said they go in a counterclockwise direction. This one faces this way. Okay. And you just align them all the way around, just like that. We're having a little trouble here, as you might be able to see. Even if you can only get them in there approximately, you can wiggle them around with a screwdriver 
once you're ready to put it back together, they just need to be pretty close to where they go. Alright, so next, drop the ball back in place after you've cleaned it with alcohol or something similar and take note of this white plastic piece. You'll see that it has four protrusions and the one that goes towards the ribbon cable looks like this. It's stepped. It's, there's three steps here. You just want to put that on top of the ball and wiggle everything into place to push down. And if everything doesn't just go perfectly into place, you'll need to adjust the little rollers with the screwdriver or something. Anyway, that's back into place. Next, you want to make sure that the ball rolls freely. If it doesn't roll freely, then you need to pop it apart again. And make sure that there's nothing stuck in the way. You might not have gotten all the dirt out. Once you've got that done, you need to bring the top case of the mouse back over. Notice I got the three screws right where I left them. You can take them out now. Everything from here is pretty straightforward. You put the screw back through the holes that they came out of, and tighten them. If you lose one, it probably won't be the end of the world, but it's better not to lose any. So set that as your goal. And you want to make sure that they're tight. All right. Now, when you bring the bottom of the mouse back, you'll need to reconnect the ribbon cables. So, back to what, back to how we were in the beginning. Connect the green one first, because that will allow you more leeway when you go to connect the brown one. Be careful not to bend these too much. They can probably break. I haven't broken one yet, so I'm pretty lucky. Make sure that they're connected securely. You want to make sure that they're all the way into their connectors. And then you can start closing the mouse back up. The first place you want to engage it is down here. And you'll see this little white cylinder here protruding from the side of the mouse you need to lock that into the little base there. You see that it's a half circle? Just put it in the middle. And then you'll need to slightly bend the body of the mouse to do this. Just push with your thumbs right here. And when you feel it click back into place it will hinge properly like this. And then to put the rest of it together you can just push with your fingers here or you can do it with a screwdriver if you don't feel safe. What you want to verify is that the mouse clicks properly. You want to make sure that this cable is not in the way, the USB cable. There's a little dot on the top. Okay, you may be able to see it right there. That goes up into the case. You just want to make sure that it clicks properly, which it does. Then, when you're putting the top, when you're putting this retaining ring back on, you might want to attach it with super glue. However, don't do that yet. Until you have it tested, you don't want to be sticking it back together for good. So just put a piece of scotch tape right here, right here, and that should hold it together until you've got it tested. Once you've got it tested, then you can put super glue in here. And you probably just want to glue it in the same place as that it was. You'll see them when you take it apart, but it's up here, here, along here, and along the bottom in several places. And there will be a picture that shows you where to put the super glue. And that's it.